all my beautiful pink ladies. Mwah, mwah, mwah. How is everyone doing? It's your girl Pinky once again. If you are seeing me in the same ensemble, my red cute bow bandana that I got from One Dollar Holla, and my notorious B.I.G. red shirt is because I not only did one, but I knocked out two um, videos, and it is um, what is today? Today is August thirty first. And um, if this video is getting to you late, I'm sorry, which it probably will be. But anywho, it is time for some story damn time. So ladies, those of you that are new to the sisterhood, I haven't did a story time in so long because I feel like when I come to you with a story time, it's not no made up shit. It ain't something that's just real petty that happened. Um... Or something, you know, people just do a lot of story times and make up some things sometimes just so they can get the views. It's like how they call it that clickbait. I don't have time for no clickbait. You know, I'm going to come to you when it's something real that I didn't talk to moms about, that I didn't had to really pray over a couple times. And, you know, I was like, you know, should I have put my hands on her? Um, was she that bitch that day? Excuse me. Yeah. Story time. Y'all may hear a little, you know, profanity or whatnot. I'm not perfect, Patty. Never claiming to be. Um, so sometimes you grow pinky. My mouth don't have a filter and i'm gonna say what i say in it it just may hurt your feelings depending on you know how we gonna interact with each other but anywho so check this out so um um i was decided to go ahead and go to the dollar tree on this day make sure y'all go get a, a grab a belt grab a glass of wine some water whatever you gonna get because honey i'm gonna need for y'all to comment down below and let your girl pinky know if i handled it the right way because i kept going back and forth looking back and forth making phone calls texting like i mean i felt like something else should have been done in this situation honey i was feeling some type of way so i'm gonna need for y'all we're gonna be respectful to one another because we still grown as women we all can voice our opinions and say what we got to say but still be kind and respectful towards one another y'all know how we do high five <laughs> yes because we are women and um we got this you know so back to what i was saying the, i went into the dollar tree i was like you know let me just go in here i've been getting some birthday things i've been playing catch up on a lot of little videos and i've been watching you know a few of you ladies do youtube videos um from the one dollar <laughs> holla so i decided to go to a local dollar tree excuse me um close to um where i reside my place of residence where i lay my head but I go to this Dollar Tree, and it's not crowded, you know, get in there. But uh, once I get in there, there's a young lady that comes in behind me, and she's with three kids, you know, a little girl. It's two girls and a boy. The um, oldest girl looked like she was probably about 14. She could have been like 14, 15. The little girl looked like she was about 7 or 8, and the boy looked like he was between um 9 and 10, somewhere up in there. They all was sporadically, you know, in that gap. But y'all get the gist of what I'm saying. So, you know, I'm looking and shopping. They already loud as hell in the store. And they, Ma, and Mommy, and Ma, and I want this. And she put it back. And no, because y'all want blah, 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 blah. And they please, and can I have this? Can I have that? Now, a lot of times, y'all, when I go into the Dollar Tree and I see the kids or somebody that's in there and they short and they don't have as much as they wanted or that they needed, you know, I... I, I try to pay it forward. But what I'm not going to do is be disrespectful and, you know, um, go over that mom's head. You know, I'm going to ask that mom first, like, okay, I just heard you tell your daughter or your kid or whoever know that they couldn't have that. So I'm asking you, I don't know if you don't have enough or whatever, but I would like to. Now, if the parent at the time says no, blah, 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 so that for a reason, I respect that because I would want someone to respect my authority as a mother when I tell my child something. So, you know, I don't want to be rude. That That's never my intent. So, um, they get on the aisle. Finally, we on the same aisle. Um, they're walking this way. So we're just like facing each other, but you know, opposites coming. And as we were walking, um, I stopped to look for um, certain stickers, um, the little planner stickers that everybody's been hauling, and I was not able to find them. So I passed them up, and she telling the little girl, still put it down, put it down. Um, and I smile at both of them, walk past. Finally, we end up once again bumping heads and we're on the aisle where you find, um, like the chapstick and makeup, that sort of thing. So when we get there, I'm coming 
from the end and the i guess the mom is going to be making a basket or something for a friend or whomever because i hear the older daughter say okay i think she would like this so as they're talking the little girl says okay oh mommy i want some chapstick too and she wants the troll chapstick they have two in a pack so she goes oh so you're getting two for a dollar this is the young girl and so the mom goes oh now you know how to count and then she goes oh mommy i always know how to count and that's what she said oh mommy i always know how to count <laughs> she didn't say i always know how to count it i always know how to count and so the mom was like yeah right and she was like and then the brother you know nudged her in the head and she was like shut up and, you know they go back and forth and she was like y'all stop it so they and she was like, so, mom, I can't have it. And she was like, I told you no. Stop asking for stuff. And then she was like, and besides that, if I get it for you, all you're going to do is eat it like gum. And she said, I don't eat nothing like gum. And then the mom said, yeah, yeah, yeah. You smell it, and then it reminds you of gum, and you end up chewing it. And she was like, that's not gum. So, me, y'all know, I'm still thinking it's cute. So, I'm like, <laughs> laughing my own little laugh it wasn't like i was all ah woo you know i wasn't over the top it was a cute little you know <laughs> you know like oh that's cute so the mom is at the end getting ready to turn the corner y'all here's the gotcha the little girl that's like seven or however old she is she turns around yes she turns around and do me like this you know like the <laughs> You know, like, what? You know, this is her demeanor. And then she was, she says, she says to me, Pinky, Pinky, me, 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 me. Bitch, what you laughing at? <laughs> I'm waiting on y'all because I know somebody in their house, several of y'all like, hell no, nah, what the hell? Somebody need to whoop her little ass. I mean, at this time, all of that's going through my, 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 my train of thought. But when she said it, she said it with such aggression and, you know, such positivity. Like, this is the right thing for me to say to her. Um, bitch, what you laughing at? And, the, you know, the, the whole little bounce, like, she got that swag. Bitch, you know, b bitch, what you laughing at? Y'all, <laughs> whose blood pressure? <laughs> So, the mom's standing right there. I'm waiting for the mom to discipline. This is how we discipline. Lady, you better get your badass kid because I'm not the one. I'm not. And then I have to remember, you're a grown-ass woman. It's a little-ass kid. But still, you know, at the same time, I'm feeling like this little-ass kid needs to be put in her place because the next time she run into me, whether it's at the Dollar Tree, at Burger King, McDonald's, or at the gas station, or just cutting the corner, she gonna know, oh, this one right here, this lady, whoever she with, don't play. So I'm still waiting for the mom to discipline her. Yes, pink ladies! I'm waiting for the mom to discipline her. And the mom look at me, and she still didn't say nothing. And she, she, <coughs> they both looking at me like I was wrong. Like I said something out the way. So at that point, <sighs> I was already in my feelings. And I said, I don't know who you think you talking to. I mean, I was in her face. I mean, not like, you know, like in her face and, and, and Zayton where, you know. But, you know, I kneeled down to let you know we about to deal with this right now. I said, I don't know who. You think you talking to, but I am not your mother. Who, your teacher, grandmother, auntie, uncles, whoever it is that you disrespect on a daily or that you feel like you can say that to, I'm not that one. I was like, so therefore, you need to watch when who you talking to, especially when you see me. I say, I'm not the one to play with. I'm not that bitch that you just called me. And I was like, so therefore, you better be careful who you calling a bitch? I was like, because you're fond of the word. I was like, so you need to watch your mouth. I was like, and therefore, um, I'm going to stop talking to you. I was like, but that's a lesson learned for you because you understand. I was like, you have the knowledge of this. I was like, that's very rude. That's very disrespectful. I was like, I don't know who you learned it from or why you think it's okay. I was like, but it's not okay. I was like, I have a daughter, and she does not, and nor will she ever talk to me like that. I mean, ever. I mean, because my daughter, like all her teeth, 
And then, you know, my daughter has been taught to be respectful. So now that I'm finished talking to you, I look at the mother, her mom. And her mom looks at me after I finish talking and she says, well, I taught my daughter to, I mean, this is what she doing. Well, I taught my, and then at this time, it looked like she want to put down her basket. And that's what you don't want to do. Don't act like you bought that life because you not. Don't do that. And don't embarrass yourself in front of your kids. Don't make shit worse than it already is. Don't do that. Don't put down your basket. And, and don't even let me give you <coughs> any lead way or make you feel like that's okay. You shouldn't even feel like that shit is okay that you think it in your head. Reevaluate that. Calm down. Take it down a notch. Go ahead and step back a couple more feet. Continue to hold your punk ass Dollar Tree little whatever you want to call it and hold your goodies and let's just, you know, deal with this. Uh, <laughs> so, I told my daughter, and she put, like I say, the basket. She get ready to put the basket. I told my daughter, or I teach my daughter, to be respectful to others. So, therefore, you thought it was cute to laugh. She addressed you the way you were supposed to be addressed, bitch. <laughs> yeah, that was it. That was it. That was it. That was it. My demeanor, my persona, something about my swag, my attitude, it was still there. I was still cute. I was still, you know, but the way, the when, when the words just started flowing out and as close as I was to her, yeah, I could I could have really just went to jail. I mean, but I was like somebody was on my side. Something had to have happened. My train of thought or or them people in that store that was telling me, ma'am, it's not worth it, you know, this and that, and just, and then she's still talking loud and walking through all the aisles, and I'm going to pay for my shit before I have to. And, you know, I'm, 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 I'm like Jada Pickett from Shane, you know, <laughs> I mean, what's up? What you want to do? It ain't nothing but space and God damn it opportunity. What's cracking? <laughs> what's up? Y'all, I don't know. I, I just felt like that lady took me there. You first, your kid called me a bitch. Then you called me a bitch. And I mean, what makes y'all think this is okay? Somebody needed to whoop her ass. And then I was thinking maybe your daughter needed to see you get your ass whooped. What would teach her an even valuable lesson? Like, man, that's a word right there that'll really get you hurt or seriously get you popped in the mouth. I mean, you don't know me like that. And then, you, I mean, just to be just vulgarly disrespectful i mean come on y'all really i i i i mean who's to say that i handled it wrong because like i say i pushed up on her and was like you i mean what what i mean what's good i mean y'all i don't know I, I so i've been talking to everyone about it everyone was like you know what you were better than me because i probably would have already popped off and popped off, not meaning like, you know, we throwing blows. Her daughter would have saw her mama getting her ass whooped. I, I was like, you know, you know, then people call the police on you in public places. And I just feel like it's just not lady, like it's not a cute look. I don't be going out looking for trouble and trying to be all extra. It's just, it's not cute. And, you know, like I say, it's a local Dollar Tree. I have to run in there from time to time. I don't want to be banned from the one dollar holler. But I'm like, I mean... <laughs> Girl, you do not know me. And I mean, I, I really went there, y'all. It was a whole nother, whole nother me. I mean, and I don't like for people to take me there. It's like a, another, it's a character or a characteristic of, of, of a flaw that I don't like. So you trying to steal my joy, you and your kid. But for what? For why? I mean, don't you like your teeth? Don't you like your smile? Don't you like being able to, you know, go where you have to go, not having, you know, worry about your your eye being messed up? And and like I told her, I'm going to go and calm down because I can really see how anxious that you are to hit your face with my fist. Yeah, y'all catch that. Her face was really anxious to hit my fist. So I had to roll out. But y'all... Was I wrong? How would y'all have handled it? I mean, be real. Keep it 100. This is sisterhood. We talks. 
comment down below like share and subscribe let me know this is a sisterhood y'all know how we do we grown ass women but i want to know how y'all would handle this one yes story time love you talk to you later mm -hmm.